y'all welcome to my channel thank you so much for stopping by to watch another video I have some pastel wing projects that I've been working on that I want to share I hope everyone is enjoying their day the paper that I use is some um, paint splatter paper that I created myself so on this one I use some turquoise paper and I use some pink white and black acrylic paint then I also have some in the black paper with the white kind of a mint green and a pink acrylic paint Things that I use are the apple barrel this is a matte white finish I also have this one this is Acapulco that's a satin acrylic paint and then I use this one this is the matte acrylic paint in a pink polish so the first thing that I created are some of these little bows I really like how the last ones came out that I created. These have a black striped gem piece in the center. I wanted to do some black and white twine but I decided to do something just a little different. So the bow that I use for those are the um, was the uh, My Creative Time Small Stitch Scallop Bow. That's what it looks like. The number is MCTD54. So I'll be gifting these in some Pastella Wing Happy Mail. The next thing that I made are some more of the acetate clear boxes. This is how they look. I used some black, the that um, Acapulco color, and then that pink polish color. And the boxes that I use are the Sunny Side Up Bakery treat boxes. I get these from Hobby Lobby. There is a smaller version of these in the wedding section at Hobby Lobby as well. And I did share some of these in another video in a. Um, Kind of traditional Halloween color so they come flat and all you have to do is fold them up to make the box so I really love how these turned out the next thing that I created are some little toppers I use this little topper die from Elena crafts and I'm calling these tool paint splatter toppers I guess that's the name so this is tool so what I did was I created a bow using the tool and then I just cut the edges of the bow off to create like the pom-pom and then I did the paint splatter. I paint splattered the little topper and then I put some gem pieces across the top and they're clear. Here's another one. I did the pink tool with the paint splatter and the clear gems and then I did another black and another little pink one. So those are the little toppers that I created. I really love how these turned out as well. And you can actually use these for any um, holiday, especially a little girl's party or a little girl's gift, little um, party favors. I thought that was really cute. And I wanted to share this file that I got off my silhouette. It was in traditional colors and I just did it in the pastel colors. And I'm thinking about maybe putting some Nouveau drops where the blue is before I package these up but I'm sending these with this um, Happy Mail and then the last thing that I wanted to share that I just did some paint splatter on is this little um, box right here I had got these in some Happy Mail from Lucretia she is fun creations and it's a Daiso it's called a mini case mini attache case and it was two in the box and that's how it looks and I'm going to use this in a challenge that I have coming up so I just went over it with some pastel pink turquoise and then did some black paint splatter all over it. And I'm going to um, write on the front bling box because that's all I have in here is bling. So I thought that would be a really cute addition to a challenge that I'm getting ready to enter. And that's all I have to share for my Pastelloween projects. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.